I don't know why I let you talk me into this. We need him. The books are in a mess. Look, all these years I've managed fine without an accountant. Oh, what does he want now? Yes, Geoffrey, what is it? Another cup of tea, or would you like maybe a wee something to eat? I wouldn't eat here if you got down on your knees and begged me. And maybe that's the problem. Problem? What problem? If I were a doctor and this cafe were my patient, I'd say it's dead. Are you, are you, are you trying to tell me that the business is in some kind of trouble? Let me spell it out to you very simply. Y-E-S. Yes. Oh, no. But this is my life. What am I going to do? Well, there is a simple solution. What? What is it? Tell me. Tell me. You cannot give people credit. You cannot run a tab. You are owed so much money by your customers, I can't believe it. Yeah, but the business is running trust. I can't ask my regulars to pay up. Don't ask for credit as a refusal may offend. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, don't, don't pin that up. Look, I'm not a penny pincher. Good evening and welcome to a special financial edition of Sports You. Today we ask the question, does Ronnie Super's money make the world go round? Well, Ronnie Super is here today to answer the question. Hi people, music lovers, men of peace, what happened man? Your viewers want to know, why do us pay for everybody? Well, uh, before I go into a discussion of my generous nature, I'd like to hit my tribe with the latest update of The Night to Live For, Rapping Ronnie's Rocking Roblox. Well, an exclusive story breaking here on Sports View. So, what's the scoop, Rons? Coming up for you, the biggest, the best, the baddest night of the 20th century. Brought to you by Ronnie Supra, in association with Super Dream. I can announce that Vendetta, the top sound system, will be appearing live. But I thought they were still touring in America. Yeah, but when I heard about Roblox, they begged me to let them appear. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Say that again. Oh, man, the lights are blown again. You need some new lights? Well, I mean, I'm still saving up. I'll, I'll get you some new lights. Great, thanks. Look, I don't have time for you to nap me properly. I have to go audition some new acts for my robot, mate. Always look on the bright side of life. So what do you reckon, Ronnie? Can we be in your show? Hey, let me tell you this. How shall I put this? I think that was the biggest part of rubbish I've ever seen. And let me tell you this. There will be no rubbish in wrapping Ronnie's rock and roll block. So can we be in it then? Face it, guys. You don't have what it takes to make it to the top. Well, couldn't we just be the warm-up? No. No way, no how. And let me tell you this for free. You will never, ever be in one of my shows. Next. Excuse me, yeah. Um... Uh, maestro, uh, could I have a wee word for you, dude? What is it? You got a number for me? You want an addition for rapping, Ronnie? No, 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 not exactly, no. You got a problem? Something I can help you with? Look, uh, can we just talk over here a minute? Excuse me, ladies, excuse us. Listen, um, you've been buying quite a lot of stuff recently. You know, food, drink, that kind of thing. You know me? If you got it, spend it, and everybody's my friend. Yeah, yeah, well, it's been a while since he's settled your tab, so, uh, I just wonder if you wouldn't mind no problem. What's the damage? What? 
can't believe Ronnie would talk to us like that, man. See, no let us into rocking Ronnie's ridiculous rubby show. Huh? Yeah, but it's still going to be a great night out. It's not my point. I mean, he's our mate. He said all that bad stuff about our song, didn't he? No more than you said about him. But that's not the point either, though, is it? Exactamente. I am an artist and I will not be spoken to like that. Yeah, but you are still going to come to a rapping Ronnie's rocking roadblock, aren't you? See, si. all the Belletta signorinas I know will be there, eh? <laughs> well, none of them. <laughs> I don't know any nuns. I know how uh, you guys uh, were looking forward to the party, but I've got some bad news. No, it's got to be more confident. Hi, oh, guys, how's it hanging in Wapley, man? Chill, guys. I mean, let me tell you, oh, yeah, let me tell you, because I'm the man, how, like, Roblox is going to happen. You see, because I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest dude in this. And then, Signorita Vinicento, he tell me that little Ronald is going to get him some new lights. Okay, who's supposed to get me tickets for Man you? In that case. He can pay for some of my poems to be published. Oh, well, I do not want nothing from little Ronald. Really? No, nothing except a bigger bowl of pasta at Graceland's. <laughs> hey! Come on, let's go get Ronnie to buy us some food. Oh. Ronnie, what are you doing behind the door? Thinking. Thinking? It's not like you. Uh, what's the matter? You know, stuff. Stuff? Like what? Like money. Money? Well, has money ever been a problem for you? Yeah, but everybody expects me to buy them things, right? Well, that's because you always have. Yeah, but it's not like, hi, Ronnie, how are you? Do you want to chill with us? No. Ah. It's always, Ronnie, can you pay for the chips or Ronnie, pay for that? Yeah, well, you could just say no. Yeah, but it's all the time. Like tickets for this and new shirts, it just never stops. No. Why don't you come out to Graceland? And buy everyone chips? No, thanks. No. Tell, tell everyone about wrapping Ronnie's rocky roadblock. I don't really want to talk about that right now. Well, what's the problem? Nothing. You'll find out. And because of you, this kid has had to cancel his party. What are you talking about? I am talking about rapping Ronnie's rock and roadblock. I didn't cancel anything. You made me call on his tab. You had no choice. But that was the money he was going to spend on this big party. Mr. McAvoy, you engaged me to straighten out the mess. I'm sorry if rapping Ronnie can't have his rocking roadblock. But really? Bean counters. You've got no idea, have you? Mr. McAvoy, there's no need to be insulting. Look, get this pal. I run a cafe. I work with people. People who need me. People who respect me. This is not about numbers. See that? If you don't do something real quick, Graceland is finished. But, but it's, you've got to increase your revenues and decrease your costs. Oh, look, I don't understand all this mumbo jumbo. Mr. McAvoy, it's really quite simple. Sit down and I'll explain it to you again. Oh, it's not it's slippy. Oh, hey. Just see Ronnie. Oh, is he coming? I'm starving. I don't think he's going to be buying anyone any food anymore. Oh, you're joking, no. <laughs> Ronnie, the wallet not smashing out. Yeah. Of course you will. I'm being serious. I mean, he won't come to Graceland today because, like, he thought that you lot would expect some food. <laughs> Ridiculoso. I mean, Ronnie is not my friend because he gets me bowls of pasta every week, no. It's because he uh, gets me the Gazette de la Sport every day, <laughs> see? <laughs> exactly. I mean, you think it's a friend because he buys you the paper every week. <laughs> yeah, but friends are supposed to buy each other things. <laughs> well, when was the last time you bought Ronnie anything? <laughs> that is not the point. Shit. Yeah. Increased revenue means get more money. Right, right, I understand that, yeah. Okay, good, now we're getting something. Oh no, I can handle all this financial stuff. <laughs> okay, so how are you going to increase your revenue? What? How are you going to get more money? Uh, uh, well, uh, that's a tricky question, isn't it? Um, you get any ideas? More customers? Hey, more customers! Brilliant! You're a genius! I'm so glad I got you in. <laughs> now, how are you going to get more customers? Ah, well, now that's uh, 
That's another tricky question, isn't it? Um, oh, why don't you just try karaoke? That's always popular. Hey, I could do another Elvis night. No, absolutely no. Every time you have an Elvis night, you lose money. Right. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about this one. I don't believe you. Ronnie always pays for everything because that is Ronnie. <laughs> I don't think so. He's just he's a bit upset at the moment, that's all. I mean, we'll be back to normal soon, because you know what? He likes paying for everything. There we are, gents. That'll be uh, eight pounds, uh. please. Uh, sorry, uh, ten pounds. Yeah, could you uh, put it on Lonnie's tab for us? Uh, look, see that notice there? We have an agreement with the bank, they don't sell food, and uh, we don't make loans. Right, but could you just put it on Ronnie's tab for us? Cheers, Ed. Uh, Ronnie doesn't have a tab anymore. Well, Ronnie shouldn't have to pay for it. Exactly. We should pay for it ourselves. <laughs> What's going on? We just have to tell him that it isn't about money. Mercy, you know, little Ronald, he's a friend. And Lira's not important. You know, when I lived in the back streets of Naples, you know, me and my little brothers, we all sat together. It. Ronnie's got money, we don't. Yeah, so but... if he wants to buy us stuff, why not let him? Ronnie thinks that we just like him for his money. <laughs> well, that is stupid. Yep, but that's what he thinks. We just have to tell him that he's our mate. Oh, yeah. And that he now has to buy us uh, stuff. Yeah, but maybe we could buy him something. <laughs> now, steady on. We don't have to buy him a present, do we? But why not? I mean, he's got everything. What can we possibly get him? Look, Ronnie's a reject. He should be here with us. Because he's our friend. Oh. Boy, rejects! What's up? Terry? <laughs> Where's Donnie? Uh, <laughs> Donnie who? Donny, the nerd who thinks he's cool. The one with a party. Oh, you mean Dappin' Donny from Docking Dodlock. <laughs> Have you got a little cold there, Benjamin? My means Ronnie. <laughs> Rapping Ronnie's rocking roadblock. Where is he? And what's it to you? I want a word. Well, I now see he's a mate, so uh, anything you've got to say to him, you can say in front of us, yeah? <laughs> well, his party's been cancelled. What? what? I've got a ticket. So what? So I want my money back. So do the rest of the razors. And oh yeah, if you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. All right? I had no choice. I had to cancel it. Why don't you get some money for your dad? Well, he said no. Then I had to pay Eddie, which means no money for the roadblock. <sighs> That's bad. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to tell the rejects now, aren't I? Well, listen, don't worry. I mean, they'll understand. Because they're your mates. How come you cancel your party? I had to, man. That is so selfish. What do you mean? I've invited everyone. I mean, first I said I was going to be in it, and then like, you sorted that one out, didn't you? Jason, he's right, you know. You have embarrassed all me in front of all of me amigos. Why? Right. invited all my friends. That looks so stupid. It's a calamity. A disaster. Mamma mia. All we have left is despair. Right, and we're like, you know, really miserable. You know what, little Ronald? You have how you say really muck things up this time. Yeah. You know what, Ron, you're a you're a real mate. <laughs> well, I guess all we can do now is go and tell everyone that the biggest and the baddest party of the 20th century has been cancelled. Thanks, mate. Hey. They're just upset. Yeah, I thought they were my friends. They'll apologise when they've calmed down. I'll go and speak to him, yeah? Oh, by the way, Terry Stoker has been looking for you. Me? Why? He wants the money back for the tickets he bought. And you better pay him. See you later. No. I haven't got the money. You what? I spent it all on the posters and paying off the tab of Graceland. <sighs> You're in big trouble. I think we'd better run. Welcome to Sports with your host, Vinny Rodriguez. Yes, we are live at the battle zone. The race is still hunting for Ronnie Supra. But the question will have to be asked, will Ronnie Supra escape with his life? Shut up, Vinny, this is serious. So what are you going to do about it then? What am I going to do? Typical. When something happens to any of the other rejects, everyone helps. 
Like Bruno, you've got the Nemo, you've got the Godfather, but when it's me, nobody helps me. Everyone turns against me. That's not true. Yes, it is. I haven't got any money. I cancelled the party because I have to pay for everybody's food, and now the races are after me, and my so-called friends are nowhere. It's not like that, Ron. Yes, it is. You're not my friends. Molly, oh, wait! Sing that always look at the bright side of life number of big karaoke night. See, it's possible, no? Uh, what is possible? Ha, recognition, my friend, Signor Eduardo. He, he won us to perform our song for him. When, why, what for, and how much? Well, you know, Ronnie had to cancel his roadblock. I thought I would take it over. Oh, magnifico, you know, the razors. They will watch and they won't pull little Ronnie's arms off. Uh, no. No! Do you not want the same little Ronnie's arms? Do you not want to be up on stage with the bright lights listening to the roar of the crowd? No, and I don't want to sing neither. Okay, no. You heard what Ronnie said, it was rubbish. The worst thing you'd ever heard and that he'd never ever hire us. Yeah, what was that got to do with anything? But you reckon I'm going to listen to that and then go in there and save his bacon? You must be joking, the answer is no. Mm. He's right, you know, we cannot do it, it's no possible. All right, suit yourselves then, I'll just have to book my own acts. Ronnie Super is rumoured to be hiding from these fearsome razors, but this report has been searching high and low for this elusive centre back. And the trails lead to this very front door. Oh, hi Ron. How do you know it's me? Well, it's obvious. But I'm in disguise. No, you always wear these shades. The razors are after me, man. No, they're not. See, we've sorted it out for you. You expect me to believe that? Well, what are friends for? I don't have any friends. <laughs> That's why you're wrong. So we've got a surprise for you. Let's walk. You should come to Gracelands. Why? Because well, we've got a surprise for you. I don't know anybody at Gracelands. I don't know you and I don't like surprises. Oh, Ronnie. Look. Help my dad. I do plumbing. I mean, what about promoting? I mean, what about fashion? The world of show business is too rough for me. I've got my fingers burned. Oh, and uh, say hi to the guys for me. Oh, no, the worst one. Well, I was there, like one on one. It was the most amazing thing. Don't Ronnie. Well, try to get him to come, but he wouldn't. Well, at least we got the razors off his back anyway. <laughs> we got the razors. No, we didn't. Eddie did. Yeah, well, it's all the same now, isn't it? Well, anyway, little Ronnie, he should be here with us watching the karaoke. Well, Ben's trying to persuade him as we speak. So, let's go and have a good time then. Yeah, Boy, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you coming to the Graceland karaoke tonight, Jim? You got tickets, Bob? You bet. But I'm doing my way, OK? Oh, good. We're ready, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. The um, thing is, I can't really put you on without some kind of warm-up act first. You know what I mean? A specialised outfit like oh, you are. Oh. Eddie, Eddie. What are they doing here? Eh? Oh, they're great, great guys, great dancers. And they're going to tear the place apart, massive. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you on first. I'm a chartered accountant, not a performing seal. Listen, if you don't get in there, these people are going to wreck the joint and it's going to be your fault. I will not be held responsible. You know how they say accountants are always really boring people? I don't believe that for a second. Come on, pal, I've got plans for you. Excuse us, here we are. I know you've been waiting quite a long time for a really classy act. Well, wait no longer, because Graceland Productions is proud, proud and privileged to present for your entertainment, Jeffrey, the singing accountant, Yakov. Come on, Jeffrey, yeah! Do it or else. Yeah, big ass! The minute you walk in the joint, I could tell you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Would you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I don't not like work for every guy I know. So this is it. This is what you did to save me. Thanks a lot. But I tried to swear. My reputation, man, they're gonna kill me. Right about that. Get off him. Just 
Right, what's the plan, Eddie? Give them their money back. I can't do that. Why not? Because there's something to do with cash flow problems. I don't understand why. Hey, guys, listen, listen. Ronnie needs help. He's outside. The razor have got him. Right, that's it. Nobody does that to a region. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, now. Violence is not the answer. Well, what is it? You remember. No way, Eddie. No, I told you, mate. Hey. I thought he was a mate. I thought he was one of the rejects. You promised me a rocking roadblock and I'll get this. Eddie's karaoke extravaganza. It's a load of rubbish. I can explain that. I don't want your explanation. I want my money back. No, 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 no. You don't want your money back. You want to be entertained. What about this load of Morris dancers? Or a singing accountant? No, no, no. That was just uh, that was just a warm-up act. No, you want to see the main event? Who is it? Come and take a look. This better be good. Or else it's going to be trouble. You're telling me. You waited long enough. The wait is over. Graceland Productions are proud to present Singing for Your Life tonight. The one, the only, the Red Foot Reject. Yay! Some things in life are sad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make it, though you say, slightly worse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this will help things turn out for the best And always look on the bright side of life Always look on the bright side of life Life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten And that's to laugh and smile and dance when you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just hush your lips and whistle, that's the thing. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side of life. Life's a piece of fit when you look at it. Life's a laugh and death's a joke, is true When it's the end of the show Keep on laughing as you go But remember that the last part is on you And always look on the bright side of life Always look on the bright side of life Great party, Eddie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And the end. Thanks to you guys. Yeah. I was great. I mean, uh, <laughs> we, we were great. Hey, how about uh, some ice cream to celebrate, no? Yeah, let's get some ice creams in. Cool, man. Just put it on my tab, Eddie. Hey, come on right up. Uh, but you haven't got any money. Being a plumber does have advantages. Eddie, you said no more tabs. Yeah, yeah listen, that accountant was an idiot. All this fuss is due to him. I mean, let's just let's get things back the way they were before. Yeah. I'm going back to being a promoter. Does that mean you'll be our manager? No way, man. You guys were good, but not that good. You see, Morris dancing where it's at. I'll just put them on we can get. They're gonna be a sensation. <sighs> Remind me to get you those new lights, Vinny. 